Hi, Leo. Um, this is a tarot love reading for your sun sign. Um, this is going to be a, um, a message from the divine feminine to the divine masculine. I may have to reset these tarot cards because I, I get, I don't know why some of them are, I'm, I've just been getting a lot of reversals and I don't know if that's normal or if I'm just like dramatic when I'm shuffling. I'm not quite sure what's going on or if it's the energy, like I'm fairly new at tarot, so I'm not, um, sure about all the quirks and all the different um, things that can happen so anyways um so for the divine feminine we have um so this divine feminine is really grounded in her energy at the moment she is definitely feeling super um secure and safe and powerful and passionate and creative and loving in her um in her solar plexus like she um this girl knows what she wants and she's willing to do anything that she needs to do to get it and she knows um who her person is and she is um confident that um at the end of the day that they'll be together with the eight of wands and um the four of wands yeah so this is um this is actually a really good reading. Um, she has a tower card in reverse. And I've never seen um, this deck's tower card. So I'm going to say that this Divine Feminine Leo has just come out of a very serious tower moment. A tower moment that was just sufficient to shake her foundation. <clears throat> And she's coming out bold and brazen and ready. Um, she has, is embracing um, who her new energies is who she is. And recognizing her connection for what she believes it to be. And isn't going to allow, um, you know, um, social conditioning or social norms or society or her family or her parents or anyone to tell her, like, what love looks like, what a relationship should look like, who she loves and like what and like what love is and um, how we um, foster love in our lives and amongst others. Okay, um, from, uh, from the divine masculine, um, the divine masculine is um, kind of in a little bit of a situation. It looks like um, he he um, is not exactly looking to his divine feminine at the moment he's really caught up um in his everyday life he's um you know asking um tom tom dick and harry for their opinion he's kind of like should i go like this should i go like that should i turn around should i stand on my toes should i put my hand in the air like he is not really tapping into his internal self he is not checking in with source he um doesn't really know who he is at the time at at this time, um, the energy surrounding um, the Divine Masculine is the Lover's card. So there's um, going to be some intervention, probably from Spirit, probably from the universe, possibly causing a tower moment, possibly causing him to um, retract into himself to, um, to you know, consult with, with the Hermit energy and just really like, um, take stock and, and take inventory of his life and who um, you know what it who who deserves to be in his life today and who um, who tells who who will come to him in truth and who is coming to him in a mask and it's not the mask that's that that's the error that's the fault part but the mask that has a um, a manipulative motive you know what I mean like they they're, they're not their their intentions for him are for him they have other hidden agendas so and i think the um parts of that are going to be revealed for this divine masculine um yeah but this divine feminine is on fire so she's really killing it and so she's going to give her masculine all the time that he needs to get himself squared away and she'll be there for him um when he needs when he needs her but it's going to be up to this divine masculine to take lead on that and to um 
um, step into his role as the masculine. I don't know. Like, um, I don't really feel his energy is all that strong here. It's, um, it's divine feminine is on fire though. So that's your reading for, uh, Leo. Take care.